Hi guys, it is currently early on a Friday morning. I thought I would start a isolation vlog. Thought I would just film this one and if it's interesting I'll upload it, if it's not, it's not. So I actually have had a few symptoms. I decided to book a test today just to kind of put my mind at rest but I have um, started to have a cough. It's not that bad. Um, it's nothing that I would like crawl in sick for, um, but it's worth just knowing because obviously if I do have it, Harry could be passing it around if I don't have a test and stuff like that. The test is today in a few hours and I don't think you can film actually doing the test. Um, I'm sure the majority of people um, have had a test by now. Uh, this is, will be my third, I think, maybe fourth. No, I think it's, no, yeah, I think it's my fourth because I did one an at-home one um, for some research study. Um, so yeah, basically I'm gonna get a test in a few hours. Um, it's not far from where I live, so we'll see. And then I probably won't vlog again until I get the test results, um, which is normally in 48 hours. So we are here again guys, um, sorry about this angle but there's people on the side of me so I'm just trying to um, get it lower. So yeah basically drive through, they give you this little bag and I'm just going to do the test now. I'm not going to video it all um, just because I want to make sure I get it right and nobody wants to see me gag. So yeah you basically get a little bag and... Um, all the instructions, so I'm just going to read through them now and then it's done. So it is now um, Friday night and I know I said I wasn't going to update you guys but I just thought I would have a quick chat. So <clears throat> uh, my cough has definitely got worse today. I don't even know if I've mentioned what symptoms I've had but um, I've had a cough for probably the last two, maybe three days, but today it has definitely got uh, worse. But it also kind of comes in waves, so like I won't really cough for ages, and then I'll be coughing for like a whole hour non-stop, so it's kind of a bit strange. I mean, I don't even know if I have it yet. Um, yeah, but I've also had quite a tight chest. Um, and again, this comes in waves, but occasionally I'll have pain in my chest and in my like lower left hand side, just underneath sort of my chest area, in the ribs almost. Um, I was having a sharp pain there earlier. I don't know if this is related to COVID. I mean, I don't even know if I have it yet, but I just wanted to tell you guys how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. I've had some pain, a bit of a tight chest, um, and a bit of a cough and kind of a sore throat, but nothing really um, too serious. So obviously I went for my test at half 11 this morning. So I'm hoping to have the results by the morning. I know it can take 48 hours, but um, I think most of the time you get them a bit sooner than that. So fingers crossed I get them soon so yeah I just thought I'd update you guys with how I was feeling because <coughs> <coughs> go prime example for you um I just thought I'd film this because if anybody else has just tested positive or whatever they might just be wondering um what it's like um and this is how I'm currently feeling. But yeah, most of the time, to be honest, I'm feeling pretty okay. Um, I still haven't felt ill enough to um, stop doing my normal things, really. Um, still working and doing everything as normal. So yeah, I guess we will hopefully see in the morning what my result is and i will update you then hi guys just a little update for you i've got a whisper because um it's the early hours of the morning so everyone else i say everyone else harry is still asleep so i don't want to wake him up um i couldn't really sleep i was coughing all 
night and I feel bad um, keeping him up so I got up and I've come downstairs um, the worst thing at the moment is my throat it really hurts so I thought I'll just come downstairs and have like a hot lemon water and um, some throat sweets I know I've got some throat, throat sweets somewhere so I'm just going to do that and read my book for a little bit and then maybe go back to sleep so it's about an hour or two later um i just had my results back and they are positive which i knew they was going to be to be fair um my throat is the worst thing right now um other than that i feel pretty fine to be fair so i'm hoping after a hot drink i'll be okay but i'm kind of waiting for harry to wake up so i don't wake him up with the kettle um but yeah just wanted to let you know that it just come back positive so i'm gonna document what happens from here so it's still day two um got my results this morning i just wanted to <coughs> give you guys an update so i'm feeling okay um obviously you can tell I've still got a cough the sore throat has worn off a little bit now um this morning it was a lot lot worse but now it doesn't really have to swallow or anything so that's what i mean by it. like it comes in waves it, like literally one minute you feel really bad about this and then the next is something else like it's just <coughs> a bit weird so i just wanted to come up and say so i've just had i've just gotten out of bed and had a shower and i already feel much better so i would recommend anybody that's not feeling that great corona or no corona um <clears throat> just get up and do the things that make you feel better so have a shower <coughs> use your favorite shower gel which is what i did i literally love the smell of it and it immediately made me feel better um you know do normally your normal hair care your normal skincare like just make yourself feel better and in turn you will physically feel better as well like if you mentally feel better you'll physically feel better so yeah that is what i'm doing now i already do feel better after the shower um just a bit fresher and a bit cleaner although i will say that um i was struggling to stand in the shower i don't know whether it was the mixture of the heat or i don't know but my legs like kind of had a shake to them um and they just felt like really weak um I, need, I was in there for quite a while, to be fair. It felt like I needed to sit down. Um, but power through is fine. Um, and they feel fine now. But yeah, you do. I do just feel like a bit weak in general. But um, yeah, I've put my new pyjamas on or loungewear set, which um, Harry got me for Christmas. What's in that? So I'm feeling super comfy. I'm feeling fresh. I'm going to make myself one of my favourite breakfasts, um, while well, I can still taste, hopefully I don't lose my taste, fingers crossed, um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you on that, if you have got weak muscles, um, aches and pains, then that is normal, it is one of the symptoms, so don't panic, um, and just rest and drink lots of water which i haven't done yet so i'm gonna go downstairs and have a lot of water i also need to film a video um so it goes up on sunday i'm not really feeling in the mood to film a video um and sit there and edit it but it's better than doing nothing hi guys so it is saturday night um and i just thought i would give you another update i can't remember the last thing i said to you guys but as you can see i look a bit tired i feel okay to be quite honest um my throat is starting to hurt again now um but it just kind of hurt in the morning tiny bits throughout the day and now it's hurting again just before bed which is handy not um but yeah i've got some night nurse that i'm gonna take tonight just because i struggled to sleep last night with the coughing and the sore throat um so hopefully that will do the trick and i'll get a better night's sleep and i won't have these horrendous bags under my eyes so yeah um 
but other than that to be honest i'm feeling pretty all right uh, my muscles haven't been too bad today achy wise either um it is literally mainly just the cough and throat today so i'm hoping night nurse will sort me out and we will see how i feel tomorrow because to be honest i'm not sure um when i got the virus so it's hard to know what like day i actually am on um because i'll probably be you're supposed to self-isolate for 10 days from when your symptoms start but it's hard to know exactly when your symptoms started i did it from the day that i mainly noticed um proper like proper symptoms rather than just like little headache here and there a couple of days before um but yeah it's hard to say what day i'm actually on because i think a lot of people that i know who have had it say like the fifth day is kind of the worst that you feel um I don't know whether I'm on the fifth day, I'm near the fifth day, like I literally have no idea, I might have done the fifth day already, like who really knows, um, but yeah, today has not been too bad to be fair, um, there's been hours of the day where I literally would have no clue that I've even got it to be honest, um, and I did film a YouTube video today with my very croaky voice, which is probably going to annoy everyone um but i really didn't want to not upload so um it's just one of those things that you'll have to put up with i'm afraid my dog is drinking from my water that i leave on my bedside table and that's why i've started taking a bottle to bed because i can never trust uh when my dog drinks from it or not <laughs> then i probably drink from it without knowing but he's already drunk from it so that's love um so yeah, it's literally like 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. Um, I mean, we're in lockdown anyway, so there's nothing very thrilling going on. But I'm literally going to put a series on TV probably and doze off. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to a good night's sleep. Fingers crossed. And I will speak to you guys tomorrow probably. Hello, everybody. Um, it's Sunday. I don't know what day of COVID this is. I've lost count. I've got my results on. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I know. So it's been two days since I've had my results. It's been one day since I've had my results. What? Time is going so slow. Um, I feel like I've had it for a lot longer because I've been having symptoms for a while. So I am kind of losing track of the days. And Ralphie is just desperate for walk. Bless him. Um, obviously we're not allowed, so I'll have to find somebody to walk him or something. Um, we're not sure yet. Um. As you can tell, I'm still very tired. Um, I've been struggling to sleep. I took night nurse last night and I still ended up waking up about four coughing um, with a really sore throat. So I took another like tiny bit and that knocked me out until about nine or 10. So it wasn't too bad, but I do still feel a little bit tired. Um, I'm chilling today, really. I've done a bit of cleaning, um, but my energy and motivation is at a complete zero. Um, so I'm just sat here watching Bridgerton, if anybody's watched that on Netflix. It's okay, I'm not sh not sure if I'm that into it at the moment. Um, but I'm just going to sit here and watch it, edit my video that needs to go up today. Um, and yeah, that was just a little update. I feel okay to be fair. I have noticed that my taste buds might be weakening a little bit. Like I just had a chocolate bar and it didn't taste as chocolatey if you know what I mean and my cup of tea kind of just tasted warm rather than of a flavour so I'm really hoping I'm not losing my taste or smell but we'll see um that's my update for today I'm not feeling too bad um just a little bit weak no energy really and um yeah so speak to you soon hi guys it is Tuesday today um I've got seven days left in isolation. Um, so yeah, just a little update. Um, I've not been feeling the best today. I felt um, like I might have peaked yesterday because yesterday I felt almost normal. Um, apart from in the evening when the cold kind of symptoms hit me. So I have a blocked nose. Um, I still have a cough, although that only really comes out at night, like, so annoying. I won't cough, like, hardly at all in the day, and then all through the night I'll be coughing. Um, 
<clears throat> just spoke too soon um but yeah i've got a block nose my coffee's in the night and then um a sore throat wise and it's not been that too bad um the worst my sore throat had been was i think um the day after i got my test so day two maybe was when i had a really sore throat um so yeah um just feel more coldy like a little bit of sinusy pain like i just feel a bit blocked up and a bit more um kind of struggling for breath because obviously my nose is a bit blocked um but i've got like things to check my oxygen and stuff so i've been fine um but yeah that is pretty much it i do feel as though my taste is not as it was i haven't completely lost taste i can still taste things but it's just some things aren't the same some things aren't as strong as they were before um so yeah hopefully that doesn't get any worse because i will probably cry if i lose my taste and same with smell it is a lot weaker but then obviously my nose is blocked um but i still can smell some things I, mean, I don't know why I just smell my hand because I can't actually smell my hand probably doesn't smell of anything okay well I can't smell that <laughs> but I don't know what does cozy up smell like let me try this one <sighs> snowflake cookie No, I cannot really smell that. <laughs> Either none of these candles are very strong or my smell is slowly going. Um, so yeah, that is my update for you guys. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I did have a swollen gland this morning and my glands have been uh, sensitive, if that's the right word. So you, I think this is your glands anyway, I don't even know, but on this side of my face, it's not swollen now, but it's still a bit like tender. So I don't know whether it was like this when I woke up, but once I'd finished my breakfast, I'd noticed that I, it was getting a bit of pain here, like it almost felt like a strain. Um, and then when I looked in the mirror, it was all like, swollen like there was like a lump here i did take some photos so um i'll try and insert them and also you could feel it like it was literally like to touch a big like lump sticking out of my neck that's what it felt like um so that was a little bit scary because if you don't know much about you know the body um which i don't i just thought why the hell have i got this lump sticking out of my throat um but I was quickly informed that it was most likely my glands and that they often swell when you have a cold or a flu or a virus because um, they are what fight it or something is what my mum was saying. I don't know, but she said it's probably a good thing because it means that uh, my body is trying to fight the infection off or the virus off. So yeah, that is all from me today. Hopefully I have a good night's sleep because I can't remember the last night that I slept all the way through without coughing or anything. <laughs> I literally coughed directly into Harry's face last night and he, uh, I woke up to him like screaming at me. <laughs> Obviously I didn't know I was asleep, um, but yeah, probably not very pleasant to have a cough straight in the face. So yeah that is all from me today um i think i've officially lost my sense of smell <laughs> i'm really sad because i just don't want my taste to go but i feel like they kind of go hand in hand um oh sorry i just walked up the stairs just cooking dinner downstairs and um i went down there just to help him with some of the ingredients because i had it on my phone and um he literally took like spoonfuls of garlic and red wine like this should smell pretty strong and i took a big whiff couldn't smell a thing and then um i actually opened the bottle of wine 
and took a sniff of that and I could not smell it at all like not even a little bit like I literally just couldn't smell it so no wonder I couldn't smell either of those candles earlier um it's official that I can't taste it I can't smell it sorry so couldn't really taste my dinner I just thought I'd try this sweet because I know that these are really strong very very little like I can taste it it's sweet but it's supposed to be watermelon flavour I can't taste it at all so sad um I'm gonna maybe try some other things tomorrow to really test it but just an update it has been four days since i got my results i believe it's wednesday today um i've already mentioned that i have let me just make these cups of teas hold on i've already let me just balance you on this shelf so <laughs> i've already mentioned to you guys that i have lost my um smell mm -hmm and i was worried that i had lost my taste as well so last night i couldn't taste any flavor in my dinner so i was like right okay i've lost my smell and my taste um and then today i've kind of had obviously a few things to eat and i can kind of taste something so like I had some spicy mayo in my burger for dinner tonight and I could like taste spice um but I couldn't taste the chicken like I couldn't really taste anything other than like the spice um and from my tea I can only really taste the heat and like I've I tried a sugary sweet last night which I think I videoed I can't remember um and I could only taste like the, the sweetness like I couldn't taste the actual flavor of the sweet which i knew was a strong flavored sweet because i'd had it before so um i am very sad <laughs> to say the least because like what is life if you can't taste food i've heard stories that people have like lost their smell and taste for literally like months and if that happens to me I will genuinely be so upset. So anyway, I thought I would just video. I'm just moving you into a different shelf. Um, where the lion is slightly better. Not really. Um, so I thought I would just do the ultimate taste test to see if my taste buds are completely kaput. So I have some Marmite and some lemon juice. Now I think I'm gonna be able to taste like the sourness. Like, I feel like I still have some flavor, but it's just very, very minimal, very basic. Um, So sour and sweet, I feel like I will be able to taste. The Marmite, I'm not so sure. I mean, that's all I'm gonna try, but I don't even really like Marmite. Like I like it on toast, but it has to be very like smothered in butter too thick marmite no thanks can't oh my god I just put that on my eyes can't smell it at all <sighs> literally can't smell it at all so <laughs> it's so salty I can't <sighs> Okay, in answer to your question, that I can taste. It doesn't taste like Marmite. Well, it kind of does. It just tastes so, like, salty. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Right, let's try a little bit of lemon juice. I have literally seen people bite into an onion like it's an apple and have no effect whatsoever, but I do feel like I do still have some taste. It is literally just from probably where I can't smell that my tastes have gone down a little bit. So let's try this lemon juice. I'm actually nervous. Nothing. It 
it's like making my mouth dry like a lemon juice would do but I mean it's got bits in it so I don't really want to drink the whole thing but no I can't taste that literally nothing maybe we should try something nice like Nutella probably shouldn't dip my finger in it See, taste these things, but it's just so muted. Like, I can't even explain it. Like, I feel like I can taste the very bare minimum flavors and that's about it. Um, Like my dinner, literally I could have been eating freaking anything, but then that Marmite, nearly made me want to puke so <laughs> um that's where we're at right now i forgot to mention how i was feeling today so <clears throat> today well last night was probably one of my worst night's sleep uh the cough was like literally non-stop um so yeah i was very tired this morning but i feel like that was more from not having a very good night's sleep rather than the fact like, rather than the COVID making me tired. Um, so, yeah. I didn't get very good night's sleep, so I was very tired this morning. Um, that did make me feel a bit cloudy in the brain. Like, I had a bit of a headache and stuff. But, again, I feel like that just comes with being tired. I mean, you can tell I don't look very well. I sound like I've got a cold. Um, and, to be honest, I do just feel like I have a bad cold. Um... Because, I mean, even you lose your taste and smell with a regular cold um, a lot of the time when it's bad enough. So, yeah, I'm going to take some more uh, night nurse tonight just because I don't think I can handle having another bad night's sleep. Um, I need to, like, have a good rest. And, yeah, so... I'm just going to eat my Mr. Kipling cake. I literally have no idea why I'm even bothering to eat. I might as well have an apple with my cup of tea. But the thought's there. Um, and I'm just watching Desperate Housewives. I started watching this today. I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah. I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Hello, guys. Um, let me move into the light. I think it's been about a week since I started having um, small symptoms and it's been four or five days since um, my test came back um, and I think the lady on the phone uh, like from the track and trace said that it's day seven of isolation I think that's what she said but I'm not actually allowed out until Monday so yeah that would be right so um yeah just another update for you guys but this vlog is kind of probably going to be very very boring because i literally just keep coming on here and saying oh another update another update i'm um, feeling a bit better today even though the bags under my eyes may say otherwise um and my skin is still looking very pale but i am feeling better today um the cough kind of went last night. Um, I didn't notice myself coughing as much last night, but then I did take night nurse, so that might be why I think tonight will be the real teller. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping this isn't just, I have read that sometimes you start feeling better and then you go back ill again. So I'm hoping this isn't like a false sense of security where I think I'm like over it and then it hits me again, like a ton of bricks. Um, so yeah, as you can see in the background, I'm obsessed with Desperate Housewives right now. Um, I'm already on episode 10 and I've been watching it for two days. I just wanted something like easy to watch, like just to have in the background when I'm doing stuff. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. So yes, um, that is an update on how I'm feeling and I will... See you again tomorrow. Hi guys, update time. <clears throat> um, I actually feel like I am 
on the road to recovery now. It's been very steady illness um, until today where I've started to feel a lot better. I don't feel as bunged up. Um, my spell's still not great. I can kind of taste some things. Um, whereas there was a point where I literally I could have been eating anything. Like there was no point. Um, but I do feel like certain things I can taste still not great. But it's better than nothing. Um, so yeah, that is my update for today. I am feeling better. I have had a headache today, which is the first time <clears throat> I think of the whole time actually that I've had a headache. Um, but it's not too bad. It's probably just because I haven't drank much, to be honest. Yeah, my cough has come out a bit more today in the daytime, but I wonder if that's just because it's my body like getting rid of it. I don't know. Um, but I definitely feel on the mend, so that is great. Hello guys, it's 12 o'clock. Oh my god, look at the state of me. <laughs> oh my god, it is 12 o'clock on Saturday. I've literally done nothing. Um, I'm about to get up and have a shower because I actually, this might feel a bit sick. <laughs> like, I literally... I mean, give me a break, I've got fucking COVID, do you know what I mean? Like, I literally have said at the beginning of all of these clips, please excuse the state of me, but I have COVID. In a week since I got my uh, result back, has it? Yeah, I did the test on Friday, Saturday, got my results the next day. Yep, yeah, it's been a week since I tested positive. I still don't feel 100%. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where I was going with that. I still don't feel 100%, but I also can feel myself getting better. Like, I think I'm at the end of it now. Um, and I think my taste is slowly coming back. Like, I had some skittles the other night, and I could taste them in a way, but I couldn't distinguish the flavours. Does that make sense? Like, you can tell the difference between an orange and a red, right? But I couldn't, but I could just taste that they were, like, skittles. That sounds weird. Anyway, um, yeah, it's slowly coming back. My nose is slowly, like, my sinuses are slowly unblocking. Um, I definitely feel better. Um, although my cough has been quite bad today, um, more noticeable than normal. I usually go out on Monday, so today and tomorrow are my last days in actual isolation. And I want this video to go up tomorrow on Sunday, which is when I normally upload. I did have some other uploads planned, but I kind of wanted this to be in um real time as much as possible so like you'll literally be seeing this tomorrow and i've had it for the last week um and then any any more updates on how i'm feeling like i might do another vlog or i'll just update you guys on my instagram if you even care but i think i'll be fine from now because i know that um even though you have to isolate for 10 days, the illness doesn't last for 10 days. Like, it's not like, oh, 10 days and you start feeling better. Um, some people obviously only feel ill for a couple of days. Some people don't feel ill at all. Um, but some people don't start feeling ill until the 11th or 12th day. Like, it, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Do you know what I mean? You can't, um, you can't really say how you're going to be. But I think that a week worth of me just saying, oh, today I'm feeling a little bit better, today I'm feeling a little bit worse. Like, I feel like this vlog is going to be boring enough as it is. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'll, put, I'll obviously update you guys tomorrow uh, when I do a proper outro. But I think I'm just going to leave it as a week because I don't think that I will have any more real updates. Um Hi guys, you're probably thinking, oh, she's still in bed. She actually hasn't done anything. Half true. Um, I did have my shower and I have been downstairs doing a few bits and bobs. But I've actually got back into bed because I've just taken a weird turn. Like, I'm actually not feeling too good. Um, I don't know whether it's just in my head. I really don't know. But I've got chest pains, um, which I do get when I'm anxious as well anyway. But I don't have any reason to be anxious. So I don't know why I've got these chest pains. Um, but yeah, I've just got a bit of a 
a headache and these chest pains so i've actually got back into bed and it's so annoying because i literally thought i was starting to feel better and i thought it was over um but yeah i don't know whether it's just my head because i've been lazy today anyway and i just can't really be i've got no motivation to do anything um and i'm kind of just dwelling on the fact that i'm not feeling too good so it could just be that like the rest of the week when i've been at work i haven't been too bad but now because i'm not doing anything um yeah i don't know when i say at work by the way guys i haven't been going into the office obviously um i've been working from home but yeah i've just got these chest pains like I don't know and I'm just really tired and I slept in till quite late so I've got no reason to be tired um yeah so I'm just gonna chill today I mean it's already like 3 p.m so I've literally been chilling doing nothing all day I was gonna tidy up my spare room which hopefully I will get some energy soon I mean I haven't took any medication or anything I haven't taken any cold flus or any paracetamol so I'm just kind of uh, dealing with it at the moment but I might take some just to actually do something today um but yeah I just wanted to update you because I wanted you guys to see this is literally what um I've been experiencing like one hour you can be completely fine and the next you just feel like a sack of rubbish and um it could be like one day you start to feel better the next day you feel bad or it could literally be the hour like mine tended to be worse in the afternoon and harry tended to feel worse in the morning like obviously it varies for each person but you genuinely can feel like you don't even have it um like you, you can genuinely feel like you're not even ill you're absolutely fine and then literally 10 minutes after you say that cra completely crash and feel horrendous um so yeah i wasn't gonna do an update but i just wanted to let you guys know that that is what's going on right now like i thought i was feeling better um i haven't even got a pillowcase on this pillow um yeah i thought i was feeling better and now i literally can't bother to move like my eyes hurt my muscles have hurt again today like my arms were aching earlier i thought having a shower and getting changed would make me feel better but uh obviously not so i'm just taking it slow and i'm just not gonna really push myself to do anything today i've got nothing that i need to do anyway um and yeah my last update will probably be tomorrow so hopefully it will be a more positive one hello i'm back and my hair's done and my makeup's done and i feel more normal so this is the last clip of the vlog i'm sorry for how long this vlog is and it's me just talking about myself for 40 minutes straight i hope it is a little bit interesting um but you know who knows um i'm probably exposing myself as the biggest catfish in the world in these videos because i look like a completely different person now compared to the previous clips that you've seen um but there you go yeah i just wanted to do this little video at the end just to recap on the week so it is sunday it's i got my results last weekend on saturday so it's been a week and one day um i'm actually allowed out of isolation tomorrow because my symptoms started 10 days ago so it's from when your symptoms started or from your test if you didn't have symptoms before um but i did have symptoms so i can go out tomorrow thank god honestly the isolation is just as bad as getting covid like having to isolate and being stuck indoors is horrible i feel for anybody that's had to do it um but you know we're nearly there hang in there if you're still isolating it'll be over soon last thing i wanted i want is for people to watch this video and think oh it's not that bad um i'm just gonna go out and live my life and break the rules because if i get it it won't be that bad please don't take that away from this video um i am lucky enough that i only got it mildly but i still wouldn't wish anyone else to even get it how i got it let alone the families and the people that have been affected from it really badly um also you've got to not just think about yourself like you've got to think about who you could pass that on to if you're asymptomatic and you get it and you you could be passing it on to anybody that is high risk or elderly like it's just just follow the rules is basically my recap of this video follow the rules stay safe um it's nearly over i'm sure like in a couple of months we're all gonna be back to normal hopefully the virus is just so unpredictable you really don't know how you are even gonna react to it even if you are young and healthy as such um you could still react really badly 
and it's just not worth the risk like even with me one minute I could be fine the next minute I could literally feel like death um and it's just not worth risking how you're gonna feel because you really don't know so yeah just like I said let's just stay safe follow the rules because it is gonna be over soon I'm sure um I've seen loads of people getting the vaccine already which is amazing overall like I still don't feel 100% now um but it does just feel like a kind of average winter cold now um and i don't have the symptoms that will stop me like that will make me continue to isolate so i know if you've got a temperature which i don't think i ever had a temperature i did have hot flushes um but when i took my temperature i never peaked a higher temperature even right at the beginning um so just bear that in mind if you have like a cough or some other small symptom but you don't have a temperature still go and get a test um, I can't stress that enough because I never had a temperature but I did have a cough and the first symptom I noticed was actually achy muscles my whole body ached I felt so weak it was horrible um, and the sore throat was another prime symptom so yeah any little symptom that you that you feel like you have just stay indoors and get a test just be it's better to be safe than sorry i've got to say i just hope you don't take away from this video that it's not that bad because like i said you just don't know um and it still wasn't nice like i would rather have not got it than got it but here we are and i just hope everyone is safe and happy and healthy um and found this video somewhat informational somewhat interesting hope it helps at least one person that might have just tested positive and wants somebody to relate to i don't know um but i just thought it would be i might as well take a positive out of this out of getting it and let other people know how i felt i don't want to make this video any longer so i'm gonna end it here and i will see you guys again next week bye